Hi, I'm Marie. Welcome to Marie's Kitchen. I'm so glad you're back. Today we're making peanut butter blossoms and these are such a fun cookie for any time of year, but especially around the holidays. As always, this recipe is really easy. All you'll need is a handful of ingredients plus a bag of Hershey's Kisses, or if you want to double up on the peanut butter flavor, a bag of mini peanut butter cups. Peanut butter blossoms are a great addition to a holiday cookie box or a Christmas party tray. They're also really fun to make with kids if you're looking to start a new tradition. So I can't wait to share this one with you. Let's get started. To start, we'll need one stick or one half cup, eight tablespoons unsalted butter. Just pop that in the stand mixer or in a bowl and you can use beaters as well. Next step is one half cup sugar. And then one half cup dark brown sugar. If you don't have dark brown, light brown is completely fine. Now we'll cream this together for about two minutes. Okay, it looks good. Now we'll just scrape down the sides here and the beater. You wanna go ahead and scrape down the sides just to make sure everything gets you know, pretty equally combined. All right, now we'll add one egg. And then next is one half cup smooth peanut butter. You can actually use crunchy if you like, but I prefer smooth for this. And this is a like Jif or Skippy. I'm not using one that separates really easy. You wanna use one that's um, pretty well combined, stable. <laughs> and then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we'll give this another stir. looks good. We'll scrape down the sides once more. This looks nice and fluffy and creamy, well mixed. Next up is our dry ingredients and for that we'll need one and three quarters cup all-purpose flour. To that we're going to add one teaspoon baking soda and one half teaspoon kosher salt. Just going to give that a little toss here. And that goes in with our peanut butter mixture. Now we'll bring this together. Okay, great, we've got a nice sticky dough here. You don't have to refrigerate it, it is ready to roll. I love that about these cookies. I love the story of these cookies too. There's a woman, I think her name was Frida Smith, and she wanted to make cookies for the Pillsbury Bake Off, and which was a big competition, I remember it when I was young. So she wanted to make cookies for that, and she went to make peanut butter cookies with chocolate chips, but she didn't have any chocolate chips. So instead she just used Hershey Kisses and put them on right there at the end. And they've ended up being one of the most popular bake-off cookies ever, although they didn't win the grand prize. I think they came in third that year. They are now officially inducted into the Bake Off Hall of Fame and just kind of a, a holiday favorite around the country. So love that story. Happy accidents. Okay, this dough looks good. Now we're just going to roll this into about one inch balls. And there is some debate about what size cookie you have. Some people want the ideal Hershey's Kiss to, to cookie ratio. I'm not that picky about it, but uh, smaller will give you a little closer ratio of kiss to cookie. But if you don't care, you can make them bigger. Of course, smaller also goes further. You'll have a lot more cookies that way. So, you know, really either way. Now, the one thing you are gonna need for this step is a little plate of sugar. And this is just regular granulated sugar. You can use sanding sugar if you have it. I don't have any, but I also did have some little colored sugar that came in my sprinkle jar. They have some red sugar in here and some gold in there, which 
can make these really festive. So if you had green, you could use that too. So these are an option if you want to dress them up with a little color. Otherwise, just basic regular sugar will work. So I'm just gonna make these into a ball here. We had so much fun making these over the weekend with my daughter. She loved it and especially loved peeling all the Hershey Kisses. So put your kids on that. That's a great job for them. It's best to do it before the cookies go in the oven or while they're in the oven, just wanna have some ready as soon as the cookies come out. So we'll just roll those in the sugar and place them on a parchment lined baking sheet and we've got our oven preheating to 350 degrees. Now we'll try a few in the red sugar. Okay, now these are ready to go in the oven at 350 for about eight to 10 minutes. Now it's time to get to work unpeeling our Hershey's Kisses. My son was really fast at this, so. <laughs> Really, put your kids on this job. And they'll probably eat about half of them, so if, you're, if they're like my kids, so you need to buy a second bag <laughs> to have enough. Okay, our first batch is done and they look great. So now what we'll do is just take our Hershey Kiss and pop that right in the middle and then you press down and it does crack the cookie a little bit, but it's supposed to, so don't worry about that. Just press it right down and crack the cookie a bit and the warmth from the cookie will kind of melt the chocolate and seal it in place. Hold it right in there. Some people will put them back in the oven, but you really don't need to. This works um, just fine to soften the chocolate and let it stick. Fewer steps is always better in my opinion, so <laughs> not going back in the oven. Um, now we'll do the red ones, which turned out so sparkly and festive. I love these. Now we'll do our other gold ones, which are also adorable. Okay, now we do need to let these sit on the cookie sheet for about, say, five to 10 minutes to let them set up. If you try to move them now, they'll just break. So be sure to leave them on the cookie sheet for about five or 10 minutes to let them really kind of harden up. Now we'll do one more batch, and if you wanna make some in advance, say you have a party coming up in a week or so and you wanna get all the work done in advance, you can put them out in this stage, so roll them into balls, cover them in sugar, freeze them on the cookie sheet, and then once they're frozen, you can move them to a Ziploc bag, store them in there, probably different colors in different bags, and then when you're ready to bake them, take them out, put them on a cookie sheet, let them come to about room temperature, and then you can bake them, so that's a great make ahead tip if you're looking for something to you know do ahead so you don't have to do everything all at once <laughs> I know the holidays can be really hectic thanks so much for joining us on Marie's kitchen today we made these easy and delicious peanut butter blossom cookies so much fun for any time of year and especially around the holidays I really hope you get to try them if you do leave me a comment and let me know I would love to hear from you also if you like this video be sure to give us a thumbs up it means so much to us and also to YouTube it's how YouTube decides if other people see this video. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. I've got lots more videos coming up with easy recipes just like this, and I don't want you to miss any of them. For this recipe and more, head over to my website, mariesaba.com. There you can get this recipe and all my recipes, print them out, put them in a notebook, and make your very own Marie's Kitchen Cookbook for free. My goal is to give you some really easy recipes that turn out great every time so you can gain some confidence in the kitchen and feel really inspired to share good food with people that you love. From my kitchen to yours, thank you.